Hello everyone and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to design a website for a fitness coach. Now, yesterday we started off by creating the main landing page and uh, let me just show you what it looks like. So this is the main landing page. If I scroll down here, you can see uh, it has all the main features. It also has a section here which talks about what happens on day one. And then over here, it shows what's included in the three-day virtual bootcamp. And then finally, what to expect. This is an area that you can go in and customize and add all your information. Now, this layout is mobile friendly, so it is very, very easy to use. All you have to do if you want to use this layout is to go ahead and add your own images here and replace these with yours. Now, before I uh, continue, I'd like to remind you that if you are brand new to web design and you'd like to learn how to design professional looking websites, I have a fantastic offer for you. If you buy a Divi using my affiliate link in the video description below, I will give you access to my web design formula course, a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. And also, I'd like to remind you that all the tools that I'm going to use are all going to be linked in the video description below. Let's dive in and let's get started. Okay, so uh, as I'm looking at this, I can see here my text is not uh, easy to read. So I'd like to make a few adjustments here on the main page. So let's dive into our visual builder. Okay, so now that my visual builder has been loaded, so let's fix this text here and make it easier to read. So I'm going to come over here to my module settings, and then I'm going to scroll all the way down to the background. So this is where we have the gradient. So I'm going to click in here and change this color. So I'm going to make it dark and then change the color here of my font to white. So this will make it much, much easier to read. Okay, so I'm just going to drag this further down here so I can make it darker. In fact, let me bring it all the way down here to black. Right, so that's looking great. All I have to do now is to go in and change my colors. So I'm going to come over here, change that to white, go on the description text, do the same. And now you can see it's much easier to read. That was a quick fix. Let's save that. Save this one more time. Now let's go in and create our payment page. So we want that when people click here on book now, they're taken to the, the order page or the payment page where they make a payment. And then finally, they would go to a thank you page. Okay, so let's do that. So I'm going to save this. And then I'm going to come back over here to my dashboard. And uh, I am going to go into pages and click on add new. So I'm just going to close this. And let's give this page a name. So let's just call this order, use Divi Builder. And then we're going to build this from scratch. And then I'm just going to close this for now and save this page. Now we want the mechanism that allows us to take the payment. And this is where I'm using a plugin called Fluent Forms. Now Fluent Forms is much, much easier to use. In fact, you could use cut flows for this, but I feel it's overkill where you have all your funnels. But for this, it's just a single payment that uh, that's taken and pretty much that's it. So now that I've created my page, uh, let's just make a few customizations to this page or a few designs. So let's go in here and uh, let's go to the background. So for the background here, I'm going to add an image. And the image I'm going to add is, uh, let's add an image of this guy here. Upload image. Okay, great. Now I'm going to come over here to my background color and set this to white. And then back over here to my image, I'm going to come all the way down here and go to image blend and change this to lighten. So you notice that everything now has turned white over here. All I have to do now to just show a little bit of this image is to drag the slider down and add a bit of transparency. Now you can see just a little bit of transparency there. Great, so now that's gonna act as, a, as our design element. So I'm gonna save this. And then the next step now is to add our information. So first of all, I am going to add a text module which is going to act as our main title. So I'm just going to say pay for the bootcamp, right? So I'm going to come over here now to design text, and then I'm going to center it. Next, I am going to change my font here. In fact, I'll leave the font as it is, but I would like to make it bold and also change the color. So I'm going to go with this color here and uh, change the font weight to bold. And I'm also going to increase the size a little bit. There we go. So I'm going to go with, let's go with 24. Great. So I'm going to save that. And then I'm also going to need another module. 
So I'm going to click on this plus button. And this time this module can be a text module or a code module. So I'm just going to add it as a text module. So this is where our code is going to come, which is going to have our form. So with that, I'm going to click on save and then we're going to come back and revisit this page. So the next step now is to go to our website. In fact, let me save. Right. So now I need to uh, come over here to fluent forms, click on create new form. So now I'm going to create my form, which is going to take the payments. So I have to decide what fields I need for this. So this plugin is very, very easy to use. And like I mentioned earlier on, I'll leave the link to that in the video description below. So what we're going to do is add our first name and last name. And then we may also need to add, let's come over here to the advanced. Let's see what we can add here. Okay, GDPR agreement, this is very important. And uh, let's see what else we can add. So back over here. So we need the name, we have the uh, GDPR. Now let's add our payment fields. So I'm gonna click here on payment method. And this is going to be with PayPal. Now, of course, we're going to need the price as well. So for the price, I am going to add this payment amount. No, in fact, I need to add this one here, payment field. So currently it's set at $10, but we can change this to whatever amount that we need. So let's say this is uh, $49 for the three day bootcamp. So that's our price there. I'm gonna drag it, drag it up there. So for this, I'm only using PayPal, but you can also use Stripe. And this is why I think this plugin is really, really awesome. Okay, so the next step now is to add my own custom button. So to do that, I'm gonna come over here to custom button. So now we have our button here. I'm just going to go in and make some uh, further adjustments. So I'm going to click on this pencil icon. And here, what I'm going to do is to reduce the width. So I'm going to make this 50%. And uh, on the hover state as well, I'm going to set this to 50%. And uh, the size, let's have a look. Okay, in fact, for the border radius, I'm going to set this to zero. And I'm going to make this button large. And I'm going to do the same here and make sure the button is large. So as you can see now, I've just made a few customizations to this. Now over here, I can just go in now, instead of saying submit, I'm gonna say make a payment. There we go. So pretty much that's all I need to do here. So I am going to save form. Now this consent here needs to be all the way down here. So let's drag it all the way to the bottom. In fact, even under the payment should work fine because we don't want this to be in the way. And I just need to go in and add this full stop, full stop here. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna save the form. All right. So the next step now is to grab this short code. So I'm gonna click over here and copy the short code. Now I'm gonna go back into my website. So I am going to just go back over here, close that, and I'm gonna look for my page that I created earlier on. And it is the order page. So I'm gonna click on edit with the builder right so now i'm going to go into this module and paste my short code so i'm just going to override this and paste my short code in here i'm going to save that and now you can see that this has worked really really well so the next step now is just to stylize this a bit further so i'm going to go in here into our row settings and let's give this a background color so I'm gonna go into background and set my background color here like that. Okay, so now with my background color, I'm just gonna add uh, some rounded corners. So let's head over here to border and I'm gonna set this to three. And then I'm gonna add some padding because as you can see, all my content here is all the way to the edge. So to do that, we want to go to spacing. And then here I'm just gonna add 40 all around. There we go. So now I've added my padding and my form looks much, much better now. Okay, so now I can go ahead and save. So this is where now I can decide uh, whether this is way too wide or way too slim, or if I should add a bit more spacing over here, a bit more padding. So I think this needs a bit more padding. So I'm just gonna add a bit more to about say 122. And of course, this is way too wide. So let's go into sizing and let's reduce this to about 
save that. So we're just gonna keep this simple. I mean, we could go in and uh, further design this and make it look all crazy, but you know what? We're just gonna keep things very, very simple here. So I'm gonna save this page. Now, ideally, we want that when people come over here, make a payment, they are taken to a thank you page. So this is what we need to create next. So I'm gonna save this, and then I'm gonna exit the Visual Builder, and this is pretty much what it looks like. Okay, so now let's go ahead and create the thank you page. So I'm gonna click here on Dashboard, and go to Pages, click on Add New, Thank You. Okay, so let's use the DV Builder here to design this, and let's build this from scratch. So we're just gonna add a message here that just says, thank you. So let's add a text module. Right, so your payment has been successful. Right, let's center this text like that. And uh, let's also increase the text size a little bit. Now you can go further and uh, add even more text here or even more icons. Right, so the next step here is to add a thank you video. Uh, just to let people know what they should look forward to and you know pretty much how to get prepared before the bootcamp. So I'm gonna search for my video module here. And what I usually do here is straight away go to the overlay and add an image overlay. So the image overlay I'm gonna add is going to be, let's have a look. Let me see if there's any images here that we can use. Right, okay, I don't see any good images here. So let's just use this one here as the placeholder image. Okay, so that's gonna be our main image overlay. Next, I'm gonna come over here to design and uh, let's reduce the size of this video. So I'm just gonna bring this down a little bit to about uh, 68 and center it. Okay, so here we have your payment has been successful and then you have this video with the message. Now let's go to the play icon and let's customize the size of that. So let's bring it down a little bit to about uh, 60 pixels. And pretty much I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna save and then I'm gonna add a bit more padding here to about 100. And this is going to be applied both to the top and the bottom. And pretty much that's all we need to do for this page. Now on the payment page, we can go a bit further and add some testimonials as well. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna exit the Visual Builder here, and then I'm going to look for my page. So I'm gonna to go to All Pages, and the page I'm looking for is the Order page. So I'm gonna click Edit with Divi. All right, so now that we have this Order page up, uh, let's add some testimonials. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button and add three, in fact, let's add a single column, and let's search for Testimonial. Now let's start customizing this. So first of all, I'm gonna add an image. So I'm gonna go in, click on this space here, and let's add our first image. So I'm gonna add this one here, upload an image. And then we can also customize the text here, but I'm just gonna leave it as it is. The only thing I'm gonna do is to remove this quote. Okay, so to remove it, you wanna come over here to elements, and then remove that quote that way. And then over here on the design, I can do further adjustments here. I can change the background of this, but again, we are not going to go and do that. We're just gonna keep this nice and simple. So here where it says name goes here, this is where you wanna add the name of uh, the person that's given you the testimonial. Okay, so with that now, I'm going to uh, save this, and then I'm gonna go into my row settings. So I'm just gonna duplicate this a few times. Okay, so I think three should be okay. And I'm gonna go into design here and change my sizing. And I think this was set to about 70%. Yes, it was. Great, now I'm also gonna go in and uh, change these images here. So I'm gonna save this. And then I am going to click on module settings. So let's change that image by coming over here to image. So the image I'm gonna go with is, let's go with this one here, upload an image save that we're gonna also come to this one here image and this time let's have this gentleman here there we go all 
All right, so as you can see now, we have our testimonial and that is looking great. So the reason why we're adding testimonials here is because it just makes it more authentic and it also entices people to want to make the payment just in case they have uh, second thoughts on the payment page. So while I was looking at this, I've just decided, you know what, I may also want to just add these testimonials on their own section. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button and click on regular. Right, so I'm just gonna drag this over to the bottom here. There we go. And then I'm going to add a single column here, add some text, and I'm just gonna add the title to that. So the title is just going to be testimonials. There we go. And then let's style it up by coming over here to text. We want to increase the size a little bit, all caps. I'm gonna center it, I'm gonna add some letter spacing and let's make it bold as well. So I'm gonna click on this drop down here, choose bold, add our color and save. All I have to do now is to drag this up here and add my padding here and I normally use 100 on the padding here. Great, so now, we have this area here where uh, we have the payment details and then we have the testimonials here on the bottom. Now, as I mentioned, we could go further and uh, customize this at a background color and all that stuff, but uh, we don't really have to do that. Okay, so finally, I'm gonna add a single row and in that row, we're just gonna add a text module and we're just gonna name this row, check out. There we go. So I'm gonna come over here to design text, we're going to center it. Okay, and now I'm going to make it bold. And then finally, we're going to decrease the size a little bit. Save and then just drag this to the top. There we go. So that's our checkout page. And then it has our testimonials on the bottom there. Okay, so that's looking great. I'm going to save. Now, when someone makes a payment here, as we mentioned before, we want them to be taken to the thank you page, which is this page right here. So to achieve that, we need to go back. In fact, we need to copy this link here and go back to our order and let's go to our dashboard. Right, so on the dashboard here, we need to go back to Fluent Forms and go to the form that we've just created. And was it this one? Let's do a quick preview. There we go, so it was that one. So I'm gonna go into the settings of this form. And then over here on confirmation settings, I'm gonna click here on custom URL. And this is where I'm gonna add my URL. This is the thank you page. Okay, so let's save page, uh, save settings. Great. Now let's go back and take a look at our pages. So there's one more thing I need to do, and that is to take a quick look here at our order page because remember on the landing page we need to link that button to the order page so i'm going to come over here click on the url and then i'm going to go to my main page which is the landing page click on edit with divi and then i'm going to target this and make it link to the right place right so it says book now so what i need to do now and this is button one I need to add my link, button one, to this URL. I'm gonna hit save. Save the page one more time. Exit Visual Builder, great. So now I have my main landing page. And if all goes well, if I click on the book now, this is going to take us now to our checkout page. And if we add our name, and then we hit consent, make a payment. This will direct me to PayPal, and then after PayPal, I'm gonna get a confirmation page, which will take me to this thank you page, which has this video with further instructions of what to do next. All right, so uh, pretty much this is how to create a landing page or a mini website for a fitness coach. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.